Hello everyone, this is Kota. I'm immunology researcher at Stanford University. Recently, there are tons of information flying around about this novel coronavirus. Some of them are wrong, some of them are difficult to understand. Thinking of myself as a guy who has learned immunology for years, researching immunology for years, I opened up this YouTube channel to see how I can contribute to make everyone know more on immunology and virus infection. In this series of video, I will introduce the very basic biology related to virus infection without using any technical terms, and hopefully in a very easy understanding way. To begin with, what is a virus? This is a word we are listening every day, but I guess not so many people can explain it well. This time, let's learn about some basic characteristics of virus. In order to know about virus, first of all, we should understand this guy a little bit. A cell. I know this little orange ball looks like salmon caviar, but just imagine cell as very very tiny little ball that is alive in our body. In the body of our living creatures, we are made up by many different kind of these tiny tiny little ball cells. One of the superpower of the cell is like this. Bum, 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 bum. It can proliferate and make copies of itself like this. There are two important features that contribute to this superpower. One is, cell has a blueprint to make important parts of the cells. Another one is, it has its own factory to make different parts. When I am very busy with research every day, I also wish I can be like a cell, you know, to divide into two persons and work it out together. But, you know, that's just a daydreaming. At the same time, virus is thinking like this. No matter what, I want to proliferate. Like crazy. Like how this is occupying the whole screen. Virus has a big dream to spread to the whole world. Unfortunately, virus has a very small body. As we talked before, in order to proliferate and make copy of themselves, cell has its own blueprint and factory. While tiny virus only has a very small blueprint of its own, and no factory to make up parts for proliferation. Therefore, virus cannot proliferate by its own. Still, virus didn't want to give up the big dream. Here, the strategy for virus to make its dream come true is that sneak into the cell, use the factory in the cell to make a lot of copy of its own. A short summary of today's topic, virus cannot make copy by their own. They sneak into the cell to make copies. So, the next question will be, how does virus sneak into the cells? Welcome for all comments and advices. Please subscribe if you feel interested and looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye.